look. I did a warm brown smoky eye, which is something that I do a lot just on an everyday basis. I just feel like warm tones have always been my favorite. And I incorporated three lipstick looks at the end of the video. So you'll get three options for a lip look. I got these beautiful lipsticks sent to me from Scorch Makeup. And I have Energy, which is like a purpley pink color. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And then there's Hot Pink, which is just a hot bright pink. And then I have Ignite, which is like a fire truck red. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So far, I really, really love these. I also did my hair a little differently today. Um, not wearing a wig. This is actually my hair, except I have some clip-in extensions in. I also got these sent to me from Irresistible Me. If you guys know that company, they're amazing. I absolutely love these so much. Um, these are the, I think the 230 gram set. So they are very thick. I have very thick hair, so I always have to wear super thick extensions. And so far, I really like these. Have a discount code for them. And you can get that down in the description as well if you're interested in purchasing these. I will be doing a separate video on how I clip in my extensions at a later date. But back to the makeup part, if you guys wanna know how to get this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. All right guys, so first I'm gonna be priming the skin with Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush to buff this right into my skin. And next I'm going to be applying the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I wear the shade Ivory. This is a really great foundation. It's so full coverage and it just looks great on the skin. Next, I'm going to be concealing using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to be concealing under the eyes, above my lip, my chin, and also my forehead. Next, I'm just gonna be blending out the concealer and I like to take my setting spray and spray it right onto my beauty blender and then I go in and blend this out. And this is the Nude Shade Beauty Blender. This is new and so far it's just really cute. I really like it. And next I'm gonna take the MAC Pro Set Powder. This is just a translucent powder and I'm packing this underneath my eyes and pressing it into the skin for extra highlight. I like to use MAC Shivering White with my Too Faced Mist Dry Brush and I just like to dust this really lightly underneath the eyes. And this just adds an extra highlight effect. Next, I'm gonna set the rest of my face using Urban Decay Foundation and Setting Powder. This is in the shade Fair Cool, and I'm just setting my entire face. Next, I'm going to contour with the Lunatic Labs Contour Palette, and I'm taking those two light brown shades, and I'm just bringing this up onto my cheekbones. I also like to bring this onto my forehead, too. Next, I'm applying Benefit Dallas Blush, and then highlighting with Anastasia Crushed Pearl. I'm going to apply this to my nose and also my Cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using my Brow Duo by Anastasia. This is in the shade Ebony, and I have always really loved this product. I've used it for a really long time, and it's always been my favorite. I love using my L'Oreal one as well, but this one is also one of my favorites. It's just so pigmented and so long wearing. Next, I'm going to set my brows using my Anastasia Brow Gel, and I'm using the shade Granite. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids and then set that with the same powder I set my face with. And then I'm just going to jump right into the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm taking the shade Peanut Butter on a MAC 224. And I'm just buffing this right into my crease. I'm also bringing this all the way around my eye underneath just to add a more smoky effect. Next, I'm gonna take Rimmel Scandal Eyes Brown Liner and I'm just applying this to my lid. This is gonna act as a base for the shade that I will go into in a second. This just makes it a lot more pigmented and a lot more dark. I'm gonna be going into the shade Frosting from the palette. This is a shimmery brown shade, and I'm just going to pack this right onto the lid. Next, I'm gonna take this dark brown color on a fluffy brush, and this is the shade Truffle. I'm just applying this to the outer corner of my eye and bringing it around like before. To add some more smoke to the look, I'm gonna take the shade Licorice and I'm applying this to my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Buttercream and I'm just going to apply this to the inner tear duct of the eye to open it up a little more. And then for a brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this white creamy shade and apply this to the brow bone. Next, I'm just applying some mascara and then I'm gonna go back in with the same brown liner I used before. And I'm just applying this to the waterline. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with some false lashes and I'm using the Icon Drunken Love Lashes. These ones have been a favorite of mine for a while and I'm just going to apply these like I normally do. And these are just gonna open up my eyes a lot more and make the look a lot more glam. Next, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the lip colors that I really, really like. These are from Scorch Makeup. The first one's called Energy. And I would say this is like a lavender pink. It looks more pink on camera, but in person, it's definitely a lot more purple. And so far, I really like these lipsticks. They're soft and they apply really well. And this is what Energy looks like. Definitely one of my favorites. Next is Hot Pink. And of course, this is just a super hot pink. It's definitely a lot brighter in person than what it is on camera. This one was very creamy and I really, really like this one too. And the last one is called Ignite. This is just a tomato red and I really like it. It looks definitely a lot more tomato on camera as well. It's a little bit darker in person, but not by much. This is just a really nice creamy red. It felt really nice on the lips and it was definitely super pigmented. Well, that is it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.